First, let me read this to you guys. Here we go. Generational curses are passed down just like generational trauma. So adverse circumstances, behavior, and traits are passed down from generation to generation until someone breaks the cycle. Many people are starting to realize that it's their mission to break the chains of generational curses in their family. So let's talk about it. Let's talk about generational curses, okay? The reason why I want to talk about generational curses today is because I call myself a generational curse breaker, right? And I'm saying this with all confidence in the world. I'm saying this because it's the truth. I was able to break generational curses. Now, if I, now if I sit here and say that I don't have my days, I don't have tough days, things don't come up, I don't have times when I'm tested. I don't have times to where I'm debating on whether I want to do good or not, whether I want to go step back into the generational curse or not. I'm not going to sit here and lie to you because that is true. We all know that the devil is real. We all know that the devil is busy. So when you're on your grind and you're following God, that's when the devil comes and hits you harder because he doesn't like the path that you're in. It on. He doesn't like that you're seeking God. He doesn't like that you are thinking positive. He don't like that you're breaking the generation of curses. The devil does not like that you broke the curse and broke through it. And the reason why I say it like that, and I'm putting all my little muscles into it, is because breaking general curses is the hardest thing ever. It feels impossible. Once I broke my family generational curse, I that's what I knew anything was possible and nothing was impossible because if I could get past that and break those and start turning into another person and break from those traits I there's there that's that's when my faith in God went up three notches that's when my beliefs went to a whole nother level that's when my faith went through a whole nother level because if I can break that there's nothing that can break me right and so I'm not gonna tell you guys tips but what I'm going to do, I'm going to talk about different things that I went through when it came to generational curses, different things that I, I faced, and different things that I did to help me break those generational curses. Now, never did I thought that I was going to be able to get on this video and say, hey, you, look, I broke it so you can have hope, keep trying, it's not impossible. Even if you take a thousand steps backwards, on that a thousand, when you're on that last step, boom. That's usually when the break. That's usually when the when the blessing comes through and it catapults you all the way to five million steps ahead. I know that's kind of like the numbers are off, but that's what it is, right? That's what it is. So when you feel like, oh my gosh, it's impossible. It's impossible. It's impossible. It's impossible. But you still get up and you keep trying. You, oh, let me not say too much. Let me not say too much because what I talk about, I don't. I, I, let me step back. Let me go forward. Okay. So the first thing I'm gonna talk about is. What I ran into when it when it came to breaking gener gener generational curses, it's backsliding. So different things that were passed down from the from my family's generational curse, right? I noticed that I was like, okay, this is a bad trait to have. This is not good. Let me work on it. And as I worked on it, I kept backsliding and going back into whatever that generational curse is. Now there's a lot. Now, there's, there's, there's a lot of different families that have generational curses. There's a lot of things that are passed down from generation to generation. Like, that's, that, that's just what it is. For like, example, this one's very common and this one's high right now. A lot of people are facing this and a lot of people are dying from this. So let's talk about it. So we could talk about substance abuse, right? So a lot of people in their family, let's go up here from their family generation uh, that curse is substance abuse, right? Their grandparents did it, right? So their parents did it. So it went from the parents to the kids, from the kids to the grandkids, it, 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 and it trickles down. So that's a domino effect, an example of generational curse. So to, to get back on track, backsliding. So with my family, there's many different things that, you know, my family battles with. And, you know, death is high and lifestyles and my family have different lifestyles that are passed down to generation, 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 right? Substance abuse, that, that's a, a common one in people's family. And that's one in my family. I have, you know, family members that are all drugs, which I'm pretty sure you guys do too. So, so what me saying that you guys can relate to what I'm talking about, right? So that's why I said that. 
I didn't want to take a jab, or nothing, you know. I got substance abuse family, so I know y'all do. No, no, no. It's just saying I, I, I'm pretty sure you guys can relate. Okay, so let's go forward. So it's a backsliding, right? It's a lot of backsliding. For example, substances. People get clean, right? Thirty days, ninety days, a year. Boom, back on drugs. So I, I've done a lot of things in my life where. There are certain things that I saw in my household, certain things that I saw around my family that was learned behavior. You know what I mean? Certain things in my family that I thought was okay, but as I got older and I started working and you know, different things that I went through as a child that you think, you know, when you're in your house, when you're around your family, a lot of things that are done, you 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 think you think it's normal. You don't think you don't think nothing's wrong with it, right? Like, even with cussing, a lot of my family members they cuss a lot. So I noticed that I was cussing a lot and saying the N-word a lot. So I noticed that. So, but hey, my cousins, my family, my family, everybody cusses. So it's not a big deal. So I noticed that my vocabulary, I did a lot of cussing. I know, I know when and when not to, but when I'm comfortable and I'm in my comfortable environment, I cuss a lot. So I was like, okay, let me reduce the cussing. So then I start reducing the cussing. Then it's like, I noticed like on a random day, I'm just cuss, 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 cuss. I'm like, wait, 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 hold on. We said we gonna break this generation of curse and you back cussing. So that's an example. So yeah, sometimes I do, I, sometimes I do cuss, you know, just to say a, cuss, a curse word. But I told myself I'm gonna break that generation of curse and backsliding, yeah, that, that happens. But just because you backslide, don't feel, and this is how I felt, I felt, dang, like I was doing so much better and now I'm doing so bad and I backslid. I'm just gonna stay in, and I'm just gonna stay in that position and that back and that black back slid it slid it position if that makes sense. I'm just gonna stay there because I can't go forward. That's it. Like I'm never gonna get out of this. I'm never gonna go forward. I'm never. I'm never gonna break this generation of curse. So I had that mindset. But me talking to my big mama, my big mama always told me she was like, no, 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 baby. Like you think like that, you gotta keep trying. You gotta keep pushing. You gotta keep praying. You gotta keep believing. You gotta keep trying. You gotta, you gotta push forward. You gotta not, not, not be so set in your ways and think that it's impossible. You gotta, you gotta get out of it. So I was able to get away from it. Now I noticed that in my videos, when I go back, I'm not cussing as much. If you go back and you watch my videos and the, the videos, when I first started my YouTube, I cursed a lot. I said a lot of cuss words. So now I notice since I've been praying and asked God to help me stop the cursing and I want to break that generation of cur curse, I've noticed that in my videos, I've been cursing less and I haven't even been wanting to cuss, you know? So yes, backsliding. So the next one is break breaking patterns. So when, as I was reading in the passage, generation cur generational curses and traits are passed down. It's up to you to break those patterns. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta get in, you gotta start really mentally talking to yourself and you gotta mentally start breaking those patterns. Like for example, it was normalized to drink and smoke weed. So when I got, I wanna say I was about like 18, you know, I start drinking and smoking just to try it. I never been a, I never been a smoker because I've always been an athlete, right? So I, I, I don't drink, I don't smoke, but in a period of, of, of time, I was like, okay, like I'm 18 and this is normalized. Let me try it, let me do it. So I was like, uh, like, whoa, what am I doing? Let's, let's break this pack, right? So then I noticed that I didn't drink, I didn't smoke no more, but then there was periods where I was like, okay, we going out and stuff, I wanna drink out less smoke, but I don't do that. So it's like, it's like break, breaking those, breaking the patterns. So after that, I'm like, how did I get in this, in this phase? Like, you know, my, my body is God temple. Like I don't put nothing in, in, in it, nothing. I, I want, I, my body's pure, you know, it stays pure. My mind stays pure because God can only use me when I'm at my, when I'm in my right mind. So when it comes to breaking those patterns, now I don't even drink or smoke at all. Right? Randomly, I'll have like, you know, like a, like some wine or a little mimosa or something like that that has very little alcohol. But other than that, I don't even drink or smoke because like I said, you gotta break those patterns, right? Getting in a habit of saying cuss words every sentence, 
I, I have to break those patterns. So breaking patterns and sticking to it and just really drilling it in your head. Like I have to break these patterns because I want to be a better person. I want to be different. I want to break this generational curse. So the next one I said is resetting thoughts and the way I and, and the way I see things. So I know growing up, like there's a lot of things that I thought was a certain way, but as I got around different people and I started seeing a different perspective of life. So with my family, you know, when it comes to Christians, they have like a set in way that they feel Christians should think. In 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 certain families, you guys have to do things a certain way. If it's not that way, then it's wrong, right? So I noticed that with that, I was stagnant, and I had people around me like, "Little, no, 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 my show, like that, that's wrong. Like, don't, don't, don't think of it like that, like that. Like, even when I thought recreating my life, I felt like I, I half the stuff I didn't know I can re recreate. I didn't know that I can." Remove myself from people that are making me sad. Remove myself from people that are bringing, bringing me down and remove myself from people that are not on the right path as me. I thought because it was normalized, no matter what, when you're around family, you accept your family for who they are and you stay, you stay around them no matter if they're toxic or not. And I remember my friends that really loved me, they were like, uh-uh. Like I had one friend, she was always so brutally honest with me. She said, uh-uh. She was like, I cut off my family. And I talked to them on certain occasions because they were too toxic. You got to remove yourself from that, from that situation. And you don't have to be in that. Like, why do you, why did, why did you think that? And so I explained to her when it came to my family and I'm like, okay, cause you always stick by your family's side, no matter how they do you, no matter what. She's like, that, that, that's not right, but it's detrimental to you and your mental health. So what are you talking about? So being challenged made me think differently. And as I started to think differently, I noticed that I started to become a different person. And I noticed that I started to be different, right? So just resetting the way you think, resetting that and, and, and learning that you don't have to be stuck to the way your family thinks and the way you grew up. You can change and you can have your own mind. You can have your own thoughts. You can see, see the world in your, through your own vision. That's deep. Another thing I did was doing things that I don't normally do to change my mindset and, and do positive things. So instead of like being around people all the time that drink and smoke and just, you know, worry about dudes and females all day and not doing nothing and just sitting around talking and partying all day, which I mean, I did enjoy when I did it, but nothing came out of that. I knew that God, God had a bigger, pur bigger purpose for me. So I had to remove myself from situations like that, even though it was fun, but God was like, what you doing? Like I I'm in a club, right? People dance in the club and all stuff. I'm just sitting in the club, like I looking bomb, looking fly, right? But just sitting there like, Like I'm like, in my head, I'm like, what, what am I doing here? Like, this is not for me. Like, I would want to come to the club when I'm at where God needs me to be. You know what I mean? If someone con contacts me, like, hey, my show, we want, want you to come and host the club or we want you to stop by and something like that. And I'm over here, you know, promoting myself, promoting my brand. And then I'm in a position to where I can be in the club and, you know, buy everybody drinks and be there, be happy because I'm happy with myself and I'm a good in a good position. So after that, I just started to be around people that were different. Like I started boxing. So I was around a lot of professional known boxers, right? And then it's like, I was around, I seen, so I was around musicians and I was, uh, I've been interacting with different YouTubers. So I've been doing things I don't normally do to get a different outcome and to show me that life can be different and that you can be different than what is molded in your generational curse. So I start doing things that make me feel uncomfortable, talking to people that make me feel un intimidated, being in places that make me feel intimidated, P a lot, putting myself in, 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 in situations and around people that I feel I don't belong because that's the only way I'm gonna see what life can be. This next one is recognizing the family curses. So as I talk to my grandmother and as I talk to my mom and stuff like that, 
they, you know, would tell, they, they told me different things that the family, that's been a battle for the family. You know, substance abuse, gambling problems, like there's so many. So they break it down and be like, look, like your, your uncles do this or your, your grandpa did this. And it, it just trickled down. So like really learning the family history, really learning what the curse is and really knowing that, hey, like this is a generation of curse. This is in your bloodline. You know what I mean? So you got to make sure that you're different from that. And those traits that you grew up and brought up in, you change it. And I'm talking about negative curses right now. Negative generation of curses that you, that has a strong hold of you on you but you're trying to break free so this next one is staying away from drugs gambling and environments that you know you got no business being in like i had a friend that says that she don't drink and the reason why she doesn't drink is because her dad was an alcoholic right so her dad is an alcoholic and so her siblings battle with substance with being an alcoholic right I also had, um, what's another one? I'm trying to think. Oh, drugs. I have other friends that, you know, had told me that, you know, they, they have parents that were heavily on drugs. So they don't even do drugs. They don't even mess with that because, you know, their siblings and their, their, their family members that tried drugs, next thing you know, they got hooked on it. You know what I mean? So just recognizing the curse and just really staying away from that because you 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 don't know. You you may be okay and everything. You're going, oh, okay, I'm just going to smoke a little bit this time. I'm just going to try this. I'm just I'm just going to do do this this one time. And then you look up and then you're addicted. I remember I seen this commercial of this girl. She was so beautiful, but you could tell that she was on drugs or something. So I was watching this commercial and she was saying, yeah, like. I, I had a beautiful life. I did my family my family raised me well. I had everything going. I was really successful, making a lot of money. I got caught up with the wrong men and he gave me drugs. Right? Next thing you know, poof, six months down the line, I'm sprung out a hundred pounds, sprung off on meth. I was like, what? I was like, what? Usually I don't be paying attention to those commercials, but I paid attention to, to that commercial. So it's just that recognizing the environment, man, and, and, and a lot of things. I know my family generational curses because I ask questions. I learn a lot about my family history and a lot of that stuff I don't even touch. I don't even mess with because I don't want to battle it. So just eliminating those and keeping yourself away from that, then you're up to a good start. Removing, removing myself from others that are not trying to break away from the generational curse. Woo! God talking through me because I don't even know where that came from. It just came out. It just came out. So I have family members that are stuck in that generational curse and they're not really trying to get out. I was trying to get out, so I have to stay away from them. A lot of them didn't understand. They thought that, you know, maybe she thinks she's better than us, but it has nothing to do with that. Y'all fight that generation of curse, I'm fighting it too. I'm just not verbal about it. So I'm removing myself because I want to be different. I want to have a better lifestyle. I want to become successful. I want to help change lives. I want to do God's work. I want to do all these things. I want to do the abnormal. I want to be wealthy. I, I, I want to be able to just give people money here. Go on lavish dinners and just pay for everybody in the damn restaurant if I want to. I want to be able to do that, but if, if in order for me to do that, I can't be around people that are not trying to change. I can't be around people that are not trying to think different. I'm not. I can't be around people that are playing victims. I can't be around people that are scamming. I can't be around people that are two faced. I can't be around people that are not trying to elevate. Right? It has nothing to do with them. It's, it has everything to do with the calling that God has on my life and the calling that I know that God has on my life.